this weekend, Venus will shine bright like a diamond in the night sky, and the future of Venus exploration is on the horizon with NASA's upcoming Da Vinci mission. Here to tell us more about it is NASA expert Erica Kohler. Erica, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So this weekend is going to be a great time to spot Venus sparkling in the night sky. How can we catch a glimpse? Absolutely. So Venus right now is the third brightest object in the sky after the moon and the sun. After sunset, if you look up, so towards the west, you'll see a very bright object that will be Venus. And I understand Venus is similar to Earth in its size and rocky landscape, but it's a very different world than our own. Can you tell us a little bit more about our planetary neighbor? Absolutely. So Venus is, like you said, very similar to Earth in size. It has a rocky uh, surface and it has an atmosphere. But we also call Venus its e uh, Earth's evil twin. And that's because the uh, atmosphere consists of carbon dioxide, which makes it very heavy and very dense. It's got um, sulfuric acid clouds and it has a surface temperature of about 900 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature approximately of what you would find in a professional wood-fired oven. So it's nowhere that I would want to just go vacation this weekend. No, that's a little warm for me too. Um, <laughs> da Vinci is the first of NASA's new missions to Venus. Tell me more about that and what are you most excited about for this mission? Da Vinci is um, the first of two uh, missions that have been selected by NASA to go um, explore our sister planets and da Vinci is actually an atmospheric probe mission and so this will be the first time in over 40 years that we will be taking measurements from within Venus's atmosphere and are you able to share what kind of data NASA scientists are looking for yeah, so we are going to be taking measurements of the chemistry, of the temperature and the wind speeds, um, but also we're going to be taking images from underneath the clouds. And these will be the first images um, of Venus's surface, again, from underneath the clouds that have ever been taken. And that's going to tell us a lot about the surface composition and also its topography. And the Da Vinci mission is slated to take the plunge through Venus's atmosphere. Why is that a challenge? It's challenging because, like I said earlier, the atmosphere is so hellish, it's so dramatic that it involves a lot of planning and a lot of design to go into uh, creating something that will withstand this environment and get us back the data that we want. And so how we're going to do this is we have designed this titanium probe, which is about the size of a beanbag chair, to fall into the atmosphere. Um, taking measurements from a series of instruments inside that uh, that um, probe as we descend through the atmosphere. But this probe actually exists or it operates much like a deep sea probe and that instead of exposing our instruments to this very hot environment, it actually creates a more habitable environment inside for the instruments to operate in. Well, very cool. I will be keeping an eye out for Venus from here on Earth this weekend. Erica Kohler, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And the Da Vinci mission is slated to take off in 2029.